Hi everybody, I'm Rook. Welcome to the table. Got a Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel deck profile for you today. Wanted to dive into a character that I haven't really built a deck for yet. Uh, the character is Bandit Keith. I decided to put together a Spellproof Armor deck as we wrap up this current season of the meta and wait for the Trials of the Kingdom booster to come out very shortly at the end of 2019. But uh, I wanted to build Spellproof Armor because I think it's the most viable Bandit Keith deck right now. I'm not a big fan of Heavy Metal Raiders, really because you draw one less card at the beginning, which I, I think is not really good in the format right now. I, I think it's too big of a hit that you're taking for the effective Heavy Metal Raiders. So I went ahead and built a Spellproof Armor deck because it's actually pretty simple and I think it's pretty fun. So let's start with the skill. Oh, by the way, this mat that you're seeing here brought to you by Speed Duel League, being thanks to him for providing that. Uh, you can find a link in the description below on where to get yourself a mat like this. But I wanted to start with the deck profile here. The skill is Spellproof Armor. This is Bandit Keith. Spellproof armor, your machines are unaffected by your opponent's spell effects. This is really good if you think of all the spell effects that your opponent can hit you with, depending on what deck they're playing, your machines are unaffected by that. They'd still be affected by traps and monster card effects, but spell effects not affected. So that's pretty good, and it can save you from a lot of stuff. Uh, the one thing that I, I think that doesn't make this deck meta is that it does not protect you from bug spray. And the reason is because Hidden Parasite, the Weevil skill, will turn your monsters into insects first. So Spellproof Armor reads that your machine monsters are, are protected by spells, but when they get turned into insects, it's fair game, bug spray will wipe them. So unfortunately, that's why I don't think Spellproof Armor is meta, but I still think it's a fun deck to try out. Also, Spellproof Armor, you can normal summon machine monsters with one less tribute. This is really good, so you can just normal summon five star, six star, a normal, it has to be a normal machine monster, uh, no effect monsters with one less tribute. So you can normal summon things like the slot machine. Three slot machine in this deck. Slot machine, six star monster, 2000 attack, 2100, 2100, 2300 defense. Typically a pain in the butt to get out, but with spellproof armor, you can normal summon it for free. So that's a pretty big beater right there. And that's pretty much what the deck comes behind. It's all about Spellproof Armor letting you normal summon these normal monsters for free, essentially. Another good normal monster to summon another six star Pendulum Machine. The big machine, slot machine and pendulum machine. Pendulum machine a little weaker, 1750 attack, 2000 defense, but that defense is really, really fantastic. So it's really good to get monsters out right away that's gonna give your opponent a problem. And then a card that I wanna run, a lot of people run the launcher spider, which is, uh, I think that's a seven star monster, machine monster. So there's your one tribute. Um, typically it'd be two tributes, but you only have to tribute one for that. And it's like 2300 attack, but I actually don't run that. I run two Barrel Dragon because I really like Barrel Dragon and God damn, I want to find a deck to put him in. So I put in two Barrel Dragon. Barrel Dragon is not a normal monster. So you have to tribute for it normally. And it is a one, two, three, four, five, seven star monster. So you have to tribute two. So I understand that that means that, you know, it's not as viable as the Launcher Spider, but I do like Barrel Dragon because the effect is so fun. You flip three coins. If it's two heads, you can destroy a monster your opponent controls. That you can do once per turn. And Barrel Dragon's a pretty big beater also. 2600 attack and 2200 defense. So I like Barrel Dragon. You can keep two machine monsters on the field long enough. You can tribute for them and you can start having some fun with coin tosses. So I like Barrel Dragon. It's a great machine also. More monsters. Three, Dekoichi, the Battle Chanted Locomotive. Dekoichi, the Choo Choo. You'll notice all of these are machine monsters. That's because Spellproof Armor only works if you don't have non-machine monsters in your graveyard. So if you have a non-machine monster in your graveyard, Spellproof Armor gets flipped back over and you can only activate that skill once per duel. So to have a non-machine in this deck is a little counterintuitive to Spellproof Armor. So these are all gonna be machines. Dekoichi, Battle Chan, Locomotive, really great machine. 1400 attack, 1000 defense. That's a four star monster, so you don't need the effect of Spellproof Armor to get it out, but it's a great flip effect to draw a card, gets that card drawn in the deck, so I like that. And then last, Monster I run, also Machine 2, Blastphere, because of course you gotta have some fun with Blastphere. This deck's revolved around machines. Blastphere's always been like a gimmicky side so far, but if you're running machines, then let's get some Blastphere's in here, so that's great. It really mixes up the sets, so your opponent won't know if you're saying Dekoichi or you're saying Blastphere. I find that some decks that I'm using currently, um, there's really only one kind of set monster I'm setting, and so then by game three, my opponent knows exactly what it is. So I like this deck because you can mix up the sets and it keeps your opponent guessing. And Blastphere, of course, when it's a attacked, it uh, equips your opponent's monster in the next turn, kaboom, they take their attack in damage and life point damage to your opponent. So that's really great, I like Blastphere. Those are all the monsters, moving on to spells. Two seven completed. 
I like seven completed because it's just a really, really balls to the wall equip card. It's uh, attack or defense, you target a machine monster and you equip it against 700, either attack or defense, your choice. So you think about slot machine out, then you put seven completed on it. That's 2,700 attack beater. If you manage to get barrel dragon out and you equip seven completed to this, that is what? That's 3,300 attack. Jeez, that's a blue eyes. That's bigger than a blue eyes right there. So seven completed is a really good equip card. Um, some decks don't run it, but I like it. And then the last spell is to night beam. Let's get some magic removal there. Get the night beam because of course, spellproof armor protects you from spells, but not from traps. So you still need that magic removal. It is very important to get those traps cleared also so that your monsters can roam free on the field. Moving on to traps, just three traps. One kunai would chain, and you can mix these up depending on how much defense you think you want in your deck. I currently run one kunai would chain, two windstorm of Ataqua. Some people might run two Kunai would chain, one Windstorm of Takwa. Kunai would chain might be good to equip to something like the Koichi because the Koichi is a little low. Um, you know, an attack only 1400, but with seven completed, it's at 21. So there's a lot of ways to raise and lower the attack of your of your monsters. And Windstorm, of course, is great if your opponent has a large field and you need to buy yourself a turn so you can try and get some board set up. Windstorm's great, changes the battle position of all monsters. So typically you're trying to deflect attacks there. And last trap I run is a Dust Tornado. I really value magic removal right now in the meta just based on what I've seen and of course in casual you know a lot of people run back rows you see a windstorm and kunai and security orb those are pretty common in most decks you see so i like the night beams and the dust tornado to remove that back row so right there is the spellproof armor deck like i said pretty casual but i'm having a lot of fun with it and if you were to build a machine deck i would recommend this i hope they get some more support in the future right now machine decks really rely heavily on the skill spellproof armor of course if spellproof armor wasn't here this deck would not work too many too many uh dead draws with the six star machines but i like it i think it's a good change so if you guys are looking for something else to build then of course please i would recommend building this it's a lot of fun and of course you get that barrel dragon out you start flipping some coins i wanted to put a time wizard in here too just to get maximum coin flip but time wizard is a spell caster so if that were to go to the graveyard spellproof armor would flip over and then the whole point of the deck would be gone but i like it so of course if you guys have anything else you would put in it anything you would change feel free to comment below and of course feel free to subscribe for more I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.